Hi everyone. Today I'm here with question 2.55 from Young and Friedman's University Physics textbook. So let's get started. Earthquake analysis. Earthquakes produce several types of shock waves. The most well known are P waves, P or for primary or pressure, and S waves, S for secondary or shear. In the Earth's crust, P waves travel at about 6.5 kilometers per second, and S waves move at about 3.5 kilometers per second. The time delay between the arrival of two waves at a seismic re recording station tells geologists how far an earthquake occurred. If the time delay is 33 seconds, how far from the seismic station did the earthquake occur? All right, so one thing we can do is we can kind of draw this out a little bit as we typically do. And so we're looking for a time delay um how far away the earthquake has occurred and the delay is 33 seconds so essentially what they're saying is that if the earthquake occurred right over here at some point x then there is some recording station right i'm just going to draw a box for the recording station um yeah seismic recording station and that is kind of how from uh, yeah, from the time delay, they can tell how far the earthquake occurred. So we know that P waves travel faster than S waves. So let's write that down. So we have P waves, and that is about six point five kilometers per second, and then we have S waves. And we have that is about 3.5 kilometers per second. And using the information, using the difference between these two, not just direct difference like 6.5 minus 3.5, but using the time difference, right, between these two waves, we can tell how far the earthquake occurred. And we know that this change in time was 33 seconds, right? So how are we going to do this? OK, so one thing we know that P travels faster than S. So we know that um, we can say that if there was some, if it took P uh, seconds for the P wave to get to the recording station, then it would, and the time delay was 33 seconds, then it would take um, T plus 33 seconds for the S waves to get to the recording station. And we know that obviously because these are originating from the same X location and reaching the same um, recording station, which is this box location, we know that the distance they travel is obviously going to be the same because the distance between, if they're starting and stopping at the same location, then they're traveling the same distance. And so we know that it's gonna be distance is equal to T, times the P wave. So that's going to be 6.5 kilometers per second. That is going to be equal to T plus 33 times 3.5, which is the speed of the S wave. So time times, um, sorry, B P wave is equal to T plus change of time, time delay. V of S wave. And yeah, that's going to be equal to the same distance D. So really all we have to do right now is solve for T. And then we can um, plug it into either of these and solve for what D is, because we're really just looking for um, how far the seismic station is from the earthquake. So when we solve for T, we can just um, uh, isolate for T from, I'm going to highlight it right now, 
we're going to isolate just this right here. Oh, maybe I can make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to my pen. Okay. So we have 6.5 T is equal to 3.5 T plus 3.5 times 33. And then we have um, 6.5 minus 3.5 T is equal to 3.5 times 33. We get 3T is equal to 115 times a uh, 115.5. And then T is equal to 38.5 seconds, right? And so now, because we have our T time, right? Then we can just plug in back into here and we can see what D is. So let's do that right here. And I'm just gonna change into the color blue. So D is equal to is equal to 38.5 times 6.5. And what I get is 250.25 kilometers. And that has to be the distance between this um the location where the earthquake occurred and the recording station. So yeah, that's our that's our answer right over here. Um, sorry, I should make that a little bit more clear. Yeah, that's our answer. Um, I hope that was helpful. If it was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.